So guys, welcome back to Tech and Talk. Uh, we are doing the C sharp advanced topics, and today's topic is app domain. Um, so to explain the app domain, let's create a new project. It would be a console project, console application .NET framework, right? So let me copy this from here and remove this and yeah like this and okay so yeah now it's a program file and it has a uh, empty main method so what we will do first of all we will write console dot read key to make the program stop from exiting and above that let me add console dot write line this is default app domain right as in last video where we have handled the global exception you have seen that we have app domain dot current domain uh, property and we have attached the unhandled exception uh, event with it so uh, let's see how we can uh, add multiple app domains uh, in the same program before that let's just execute and see if it works uh, let me uh, set this one as a starter project let me control f5 and you can see this is default app domain yeah and let's uh, create a separate app domain uh, which will execute in the same main, main method so how we can do that app domain dot uh, app domain let's say, give it a name notification domain equal to app domain dot create domain and let's name it it's a notification domain right and after that uh, what this domain will need this will need a class to start uh, uh, the execution in a separate domain so to demonstrate this thing let me create a separate class let's call it class application manager and we suppose that this is the class which will handle the all the notifications in our applications uh, sorry in our application and uh, will be the entry point for our notification management uh, area so let's create a constructor manager and inside this constructor uh, the actual implementation would be like inside this constructor we will initiate or other objects will be which will work or other events which will listen for all the you know system level uh, notification or application level notification and handle them in this in the separate uh, domain and but uh, for now let's add a simple dot right line to demonstrate on console how it works so it's notification um, domain starting right and let us add a deconstructor here so that as soon as uh, this domain closed we have notification from this uh, notification manager that it has stopped working so 
let me remove this one like this and add a destruction icon okay uh, and let's update this message as notification domain closed right and uh, for a domain to accept a class and start working uh, uh, to load a class or to load an assembly inside a class sorry to load a class inside an assembly the class should be serializable let me make it serializable uh, and ideally this class should be in a separate assembly could be a class library or you know other uh, console application and it should be the part of another assembly and the idea is uh, idea here is that we can load different assemblies inside our uh, different app domains right so let's let me demonstrate how uh, to load that class type is equal to type of and notification manager like this and what we will do is notification domain dot uh, let me let me <clears throat> notification <coughs> dot create instance and unwrap this instance and we will load the assembly of notification manager dot is sorry that would be notification type dot assembly dot name and notification type dot full name right and that's how we will work uh, for this and this will create the instance of our notification manager and as soon as the instance created the uh, execution gets started and all the logic inside that manager will be initiated so uh, this is how we can add as many app domains as we can inside our uh, one program in uh, C sharp dot net and now if we if I can explain uh, the app domain why we use different app domains what is app domain so as I told you earlier that app domain is a kind of logical separation or logical container that is inside the process and by default there is only one default app domain that I have shown you which is which can be found in app domain dot current domain which is the main running domain for our application but we can create separate app, app domains as well to you know distribute the execution and distribute the logic of our application for instance uh, i have created a notification manager if i can explain that what it will do is it will handle all the notifications across the application but we want this to be implemented in a separate library and we just need this module to be load in a separate app domain and it will run in isolation because it will run in separate app domain and we can also apply the permission privileges in this app domain as well 
for example we don't want to uh, give access to the code that is running in this separate app domain for creation of files we don't want to you know uh, make this code to use over uh, uh, OS services or any kind of privileges we want so uh, this is the second purpose of this and another purpose is that we can use uh, different app domains for loading over third party plugins to work separately we don't want these plugins to interact with our main uh, or current app domains logic so in that way we can run or load over uh, third party plugins and they will start working in a separate you know isolation uh, mode and in separate permission privileges uh, uh, rules will be applied on that app domain so that's uh, that's how we can use uh, app domains in our uh, applications to you know achieve these three main points let me repeat those points let me also add these points here first point is isolation which means we can run our logic in a separate logical isolation and these two app domains will never interact with each other second point is plugins we can load plugins and all that logic in a separate app domain so that they work separately and if there is something happen in this app domain it will not affect our uh, current app domain or it's working right so third thing would be um, what I have said earlier is security yeah we want to apply separate set of privileges to separate app domains so that we can control the execution of different parts of our application running under different app domains right so these are the three main you know uh, uh, features of app domain we can have isolation we can use plugins we can have different security privileges for uh, our choice we can apply uh, as per need so this is how we can use the app domains uh, and in 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 a efficient way and we can get our required results from these